Welcome to Kalpana's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you caramel custard. Okay, it's a very simple recipe, and uh, this I had learned 1979. I had learned to prepare this caramel custard. That time, ready-made caramel custard packets were not available. So, and you try this, and you will you will not purchase this ready-made ones. Okay. Now I've taken the ingredients. I've taken 300 ml milk. Okay, 300 ml milk. This lukewarm uh, milk. I've taken two eggs. Then I've taken 30 grams sugar. Then uh, uh, nutmeg. Okay. Now this recipe is for two caramel custard molds. Like if you take these ramekins like that, two you can have. But I've taken a smaller molds. So I'll show you in these three. And I've taken butter paper. I require butter paper. So I've taken these two eggs. I beat the two eggs. Just light beating the 30 grams sugar I showed you. Just beat this. Then I will add this uh, milk, 300 ml milk. It it is warm, okay. It is not. Uh, I boiled this little bit and it's just warm milk. Done. So this is ready now. Uh, now I've taken uh, one and a half tablespoon water. But this is for the caramel, okay. And in that I will uh, take 15 grams sugar. Now 15 grams, you, I mean one tablespoon. Okay. Now I will let this caramelize. Uh, then I have taken this uh, boiler. I have put my water in this. I will be steaming the uh, caramel custard in this. You can always bake it. You can also bake it. But then you will have to keep a water bed for the baking. Okay. It is up to you. But I usually use a steamer. It is very easy. Okay, now to wait for this caramelization. So you can see now I have kept this uh, water, one and a half tablespoon water and one tablespoon sugar and uh, or 15 grams sugar and see it's changing color now. But be very careful now while this, you should not let it burn, that's all. Let it get that golden color and then I will pour it in those dry molds, okay, the molds have to be very dry. See? I have taken a small uh, uh, tadka uh, pan because it's easy for me. It's a small quantity. Na? Otherwise, you can take a big pan for this, for caramelization. See, it's one yellow now. See, it's changing. This, this is very fast. It becomes brown very fast there. Okay? See, got this color? Hmm? Now you have to pour it. And it... Uh, now uh, the container will come hot, okay? Now you have to wait till this dries. It becomes stiff. And don't worry about it covering the full uh, base because once you bake it or steam it, uh, it will spread all over. Okay. You have to wait for this. So now it's getting hard. Okay. If you touch, it should be like a hard, hardened sugar. Only then you add the milk. Okay. And uh, here's the nutmeg. No? Meantime, I'll grate little nutmeg. I have not put any vanilla essence, some do use that, but uh, it is not required. I just grated uh, nutmeg, nutmeg is enough. Hmm? Now see, you can see, it's, you can touch this, it's hard, okay. Now uh, I will pour this. Uh, Egg, water and milk uh, mixture in this. Hmm? So, the nutmeg that I have taken, I'll just spread it on top. Now 
Now this is a butter paper. I have to just take one butter paper. This is how I do it. I keep it on top, and I just start sealing this. This is done so that no steam goes in. I will fold this like this and keep it in this steam. Okay, now you understood now how I have to just fold this. I keep it for uh, uh, 15 to 20 minutes and this is what it will come up to. I have baked some uh, steam this before. So you just with this uh, knife you just move all the sides. Take a plate, keep it on top and then turn it. Oh, oh. <laughs> See this is how it will look. This is the caramel to be eaten. Okay, caramel custard is ready. Mm, this is cold, okay. I kept it in the fridge. You can have caramel custard hot or cold. I like it cold. How do you like your caramel custard? Try prepare this caramel custard, it's so simple. And let me know. Bye. See you till then.